You know that saying, there's a light at the end of the tunnel? Well, you know what's funny is I've always thought that was more of a metaphor for getting through difficult times and that better days were ahead. And while that might still be true, now there's a literal light at the end of the tunnel too, the goal zero skyline. Now, since this is a, this is a brand new light on the market, Originally, when I got my hands on this about 30 days ago, I was tempted to do a video, kind of a first impression video. However, I decided to spend a little bit more time with this thing, put it through its paces, as you can see, beat the hell out of that thing, and then circle back around with you with at least a little time underneath my belt with this thing. So now I've been out in the field testing this light for about a month, and I figured, hey, it's a good time to pull back the curtain and give you my thoughts and impressions on this light. Now, with that said, let's dive right into today's episode as if commercial air travel isn't bad enough. First off, let's talk about the Skylight's basic specifications. Now, as you're gonna see here momentarily, this is a portable light that boasts an astounding, let me get in front of my mic here, 6,000 lumen. Whoa! which can reach up to 300 feet, illuminating a massive 70,000 square feet of space. Now, honestly, this thing can be mistaken as lights for a UFO. Now, there's so much light available out of this bad boy that you can illuminate camp so multiple people can get their gear set up all at the same time. Now, that's what we did actually a couple weeks ago up at Big Bear. One light for an entire camp. Not bad, right? Better still, they included wire remote which is right here, makes it a breeze to switch through the various different brightness levels. So you have four different, make sure I get four, there we go, four. You have four different settings that you can use. You have low, which is about 400 lumens, which is perfect for kind of mood lighting when relaxing around camp. Medium, you're gonna bump it up to about 1,350 lumens. Now this is really a nice output that is more kind of reminiscent of bright lighting in your home. Now. Hi, we're really gonna bump it up here, which is 3,500 lumens, bright output for casting light in a large area. Then of course you have boost, which is a stunning 6,000 lumens, Damn! which is bright enough, let's face it, to signal an aircraft for a landing as opposed to uh, lighting a runway on fire, which uh, John McClane did. <laughs> But the Skylight's ability to cast this light so far isn't just dependent upon its brightness. Instead, Goal Zero has designed it with six individual light petals, each of which can be positioned to shine either straight down, as you can see right here, or further afield, or in any direction as you see fit. Now, other essential specs and features include, you have a telescopic stand here, which in my studio, it's, I'm like, I don't have the space to be able to set this thing up, but what I will share with you on the screen here, so you can adjust this thing from four feet all the way up to 12 feet high, which is stinking tall. Uh, a warm color temperature, 3250K, which is easy on the eyes. Oh, that's nice. Now this thing does have a built-in battery, which offers up to eight hours of runtime on the lowest setting. Now you can actually also use a Goal Zero power station to power this. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll get more on that here in a bit. Now there's a handy carrying case, which you saw here, me tooling around with here a moment ago, which makes carrying this 14 pound portable light even more portable. So with the basic specs out of the way, let's get to a couple of the features that have really impressed me about this light over the course of the last month. So let me paint a scenario. You just rolled into camp, it's late at night, it's dark. The last thing that you wanna do is fumble around in the dark trying to get your lighting system set up. Fortunately, Goal Zero has really made the skylight quite intuitive, incredibly easy to set up as well. First, you take the skylight out of the carrying case, which you saw me do there a moment ago. You're going to adjust the pedals to where you want them. You're going to detach the cable clip from the cable, and then you're gonna rotate this little hook thing up here, allowing the cable to fall off. Okay, you're gonna secure this down to the ground, which actually, as you can see here, I didn't realize we had the space. Okay, there we go, boom. Ah, oh, I just knocked over a bunch of stuff. Okay, whatever. All right, from there you're going to adjust the height that you want this, wherever you want this thing to go, and boom, friends, that is it. Now the legs do have these little, these little pins on each of the three legs, so if you need additional kind of anchoring for this tripod here, you can hunker it, I mean, each leg has roughly about five or six inches 
of dual spikes to get that in. It kind of goes in at an angle as well. So this thing's gonna be really well planted to the ground. That actually brings up a good point that I wanted to bring up here. Now, over the years, I've tested a number of kind of camping lights and so forth. And one of the biggest things that I've noticed, once you start getting these lights that kind of extend up in the air, they start getting very wobbly, especially if there's any sort of wind. That's one of the things I really, really like about this light here. And that was also one of my concerns when the first thing came in. But actually, this thing is really quite brilliant because at the end of the day, the, the wind just kind of whips around these things. I mean, they're relatively thin, small. And so from a wind standpoint, this thing really, I've had zero issues with this thing falling over. Opposed to other lights that I've tested in the past, yeah, I've had my share of <laughs> lenses or lenses lights falling down to the ground. Now, as I mentioned earlier to you, the Skylight has a built-in battery, but if you need more than the eight hours that you can get out of this thing on this lowest setting, one of Goal Zero's power stations is really going to be a great option. Now, out in the field, I use a Goal Zero 1500X, and it's really a perfect addition to the Skylight setup, and it will give hundreds of hours of lighting. In fact, the Skylight can run up to 375 hours on its lowest settings when paired with the 1500X. And Actually, this had me thinking about this here. So that's with no solar. Now, obviously there's only so much daylight, there's only so much darkness in a day, unless you're up in Alaska someplace during the winter when they don't get any sunlight. But imagine for a moment you have a handful of hours of sunlight per day. I use a 200 watt solar panel with this thing as well, and it charges the battery pretty darn quick when you have it right in the sunlight. So 375 hours, I mean, realistically, if you have a little sunlight, solar panel with this thing, uh, you can run this thing indefinitely, which is pretty cool stuff. And actually on a side note, I'm gonna have a full review on the Goal Zero 1500X coming up in the near future as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, once you have your light all set up and ready to go where you want it, you have a little button in the center here. And there you go, there's the low setting. Hey, that actually looks pretty cool on camera. Here we go, bump it up, bump it up. There we go, so it goes back. So you have low, or that was low, medium, and then high, and then it's gonna scoop back down to low. But as you can see here, this is, and you have a little indicator on here as well. So again, this is utilizing just the power that, or the battery that's within here. So there are four lights there, I'm down to three. So obviously I've been using this a little bit. So as you can see, these lights, again, this, my studio has a bunch of light going on in right now, and so you probably can't appreciate, well, actually I'll be having a video on the screen here showing you this thing out in the wild being used, but man, this light is so stinking amazing. And when you're ready to shut it off, you just long hold the button and voila. And as with any brand new product on the market, you have to be leery about the build quality. However, Gold Zero really clearly put the skylight through his paces to design and develop something with rugged durability in mind. Now, over the course of the last month, I haven't encountered rain, wind, actually I haven't encountered wind though, uh, but snow or other significant environmental conditions. But based upon how this thing feels as you're setting this thing up, you know how it is, like you close a car door, you can tell a, good, a cheap car from a expensive car just because of how it sounds and I don't know, maybe I'm a little weird. I'm a car guy, so you always get these car analogies with me. but. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem operating this thing in tough environments. And after all, it does have an IPX4 water resistant rating. So snow, rain, sleet, and whatever else that you gotta throw this thing into should be just fine. All this thing is lightweight. You can tell based on the quality construction that this light is really built to last. Now there's no misaligned parts or cheap plastic components. Instead, you get something that looks and feels like it can handle some use and abuse and whatever else that you want. And plus, the, again, I absolutely love the lighting that this thing puts out. And I'm sure somebody's gonna ask me down below, are there any cons? Is there anything that I don't like about it? And there is only one thing about this thing that I don't like, and actually I'm holding it right here. Now, actually, you know what? It's not a total buzzkill because there are uh, lights out there that don't have even a tether to this. So with a beautiful light like this, one thing that I was thinking, is Bluetooth. You'll be able to control the light from your phone, adjusting it from your phone. But this is actually pretty good though compared to some of the other options out in the marketplace where you don't even have a tether to the light. So meaning if you want to be able to shut the light off or control it or do whatever you want with it, you have to 
you have to, wherever you have the height that you have it, you have to bring it down in order to change whatever settings that you want on it. This, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's down on the ground. You can easily grab it. Now, while I've used the skylight most frequently around camp, its usefulness really transcends far beyond camping and overlanding. And, you know, think about it here. It's going to be great for uh, tailgating at sporting events, illuminating your backyard or a barbecue, or providing backup lighting for your entire neighborhood if the or in the event that a power outage does take place. Okay, I'm joking about the last one. No, maybe just, man, you know, maybe a little bit. I mean, this thing is really puts out a lot of light, especially when you're in beast mode. You know, I keep calling it beast mode. Boost mode. In other words, this light is... Definitely fantastic addition to my kit and will be something that I'm going to be beating the hell out of more uh, in each of my outings, especially we have some really cool uh, winter shoots coming up here. So we're going to you're going to see a lot of this thing here. And sure, you know, right now today it's only been a month, but man, this thing, it has really impressed me. Again, I've tested a number of lights and you've tested enough of them. You can kind of pick apart you know, things that you like and dislike and how things are manufactured, engineers and the thought that went behind the construction of such items and so forth. Anyways, you know, these guys, Goal Zero did a good job in this thing. Now, if you want to grab one of these lights for yourself uh, or maybe uh, a loved one, hey, the holidays are coming up, ho, 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 check the description below. So anyways, friends, as always, thank you uh, for watching this video and spending a few minutes with me. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this and found this to be informative and entertaining or I don't know, all of the above. If so, I'd really appreciate if you would drop a like a comment. Let me know what you think of this slide. And friends, I will see you in the next video.